Hi, I'm Paige. I'm a third year grad student and I'm co-advised by Dr. Laser and Dr. Millstone. And today I'm going to be showing you guys around the Millstone lab and office space. Um, so we're starting off in one of our offices. Uh, this is usually where we read papers and process data and things like that. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna show you the kitchenette next. So this is our break room in Kitchenette. It's where we come to have lunch. Um, and this is Dr. Millstone's office. She's not in right now. Uh, we also display our papers throughout the years on our walls, to, just to remind us and be able to look back at some of the things that we've done in the group. So this is our lab space. Um, it was just recently renovated. And so we have a lot of hoods and a lot of bench top space. And here we do a lot of nanoparticle synthesis and characterization. So at the nanoscale, the um, chemical and physical properties are dependent not just on the chemical composition, but also the size and the shape and even the surface composition of nanomaterials. So here I have uh, four different solutions of gold nanoparticles. They have the same composition, but they're different sizes. And you can see that their color changes. Um, color is actually a really good indicator of aggregation in size in nanoparticles. So we actually do uh, UV vis spectroscopy uh, to try and characterize some of that. Over here is our UV vis spectrophotometer. And up on the screen, we have the UV vis of gold nanorods in different sizes. And so you can see that the optical features will actually change with different aspect ratios of the nanoparticles. We also do a lot of air-free syntheses in our lab. Um, and so we utilize Schlenk lines uh, to make the like, copper calcogenide particles. Um, and we also have a glove box over here. So this is Zoe Simon. She's a second year in the Millstone lab and she's preparing some solutions in the glove box. Uh, over here is Rudy. She is a first year that just joined our lab and she's actually going to do a quick selenium seed synthesis. So if you watch, you'll see a color change when she adds the reducing agent. Um, so in addition to nanoparticle synthesis, we also do a lot of characterization. So over here is where we um, drop our TM grids and make our XPS samples. Um, and then we usually take them to the electron microscopes where we're able to see the particle shape and the size. Thanks for joining me. <laughs>